So how, uh, what percentage of staff is back in Reliance now in the office? Um, in the uh, main campus, pretty much zero. You know, I don't, you know, we have about 45,000 people at the Reliance main campus, so it's not going to be feasible anytime soon. So we're all working from home, except really, really, you know, uh, critical things like documentation and those kinds of, of things. But other than that, pretty much everybody is working from home with no visibility towards when we'll, we'll go back. With such a big campus, it's going to be very challenging. We are looking at this for at least another month. At least that's my view anyway. How are you finding work from home? Not bad. You know, um, the tools are, are quite useful. Uh, so uh, it's been actually we're pretty, pretty busy uh, and productive, not just busy, but uh, in terms of what we need to get done. Uh, of course, you know, the, the customer interactions, that's the, the tough part. But other than that, you know, we are able to manage. Do you think that work from home will continue as a future trend in your office or it won't? Um, I think so. Um, definitely for non-critical uh, areas. But I think that's also a pendulum. After some time, you know, then that will also shift. We'll see. How they are but at least for the foreseeable energy. future. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that momentum has already, you know, been built and it's really it's good to go right now. <laughs> so um, I want to welcome all of you and I can see like, you know, uh, before and uh, we started more than 100 people had joined and now more than 200 and joined. And uh, I must tell you, we are live on our social channels and it's a great time to start. So welcoming all the attendees out here and those who are you know um, watching this on other social media channels it's a business conclave by services reporter and fly reporter on panel boards and surfaces and we are going to discuss strategies and action plan by companies to emerge out of the corona crisis that we are facing right now there's no one solution that fits all but we'll be discussing and hopefully addressing the questions that we have received and will be receiving through the chat already i can see 33 chat messages out here and i know we will be filled up with thousands of messages in a short time from now so without wasting more time i would like madhu to kindly you know read out the profiles so that our attendees know that they works more properly that's madhu uh, Sure, sure, sure. So welcoming everybody once again, all the panelists, as well as all the attendees who are watching us right now. Is the background noise there? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, is it better now? Okay. So all the attendees who are watching us on Zoom as well as uh, the social media platforms. Um, I'll start with welcoming Dr. Ramki Subramanian. He is the Senior Vice President Business De Development at Reliance Industries Limited, responsible for building new business platforms for Reliance. He has been the architect of Reliance's entry in the advanced materials and composite space with over 30 years experience in business development and commercializing new technologies with specific emphasis and passion on solving important problems and delivering sustainable solutions. Prior to his stint at Reliance, he had his own company, which developed and commercialized lithium battery-based UPS systems to address the chronic power problems, especially in rural, rural India. Before that, he worked with Dow Chemical Company for over 15 years, both in India and US, in a variety of businesses and technologies. He has a PhD in organic chemistry from US and has done postdoctoral research at both US and UK. Welcoming Dr. Subramanian. Next up, we have you, Mr. Cha. He is the founder and managing director of Evolve Interiors and Exterior Solution LLP, a design studio that manufactures innovative surface decor solutions for modern designing needs. With 30 plus years of entrepreneurial experience, Mr. Shah founded Evolve in 2013 to pursue his artistic passion combined with his technical expertise. With the new age innovative products at Evolve, he aims to break the boundaries of conventional materials like metal and concrete. 
Over the past seven years, he has developed over 2,000 plus designs and executed 400 projects across India, the Far East and the Middle East. Using his material experience, expertise, he soon plans to launch School of Textures, a design school to learn the art of surface decor. Mr. Shah is an angel investor, an avid reader and innovator. He believes consistent innovation is the key to drive any business in today's era. Welcoming Mr. Shah. Next up, we have Mr. Parminder Singh, Pal Singh, co-founder and co-director Loco Design. After graduating from the National Institute of Fashion Technology, Delhi, Mr. Singh, along with his team, started a workshop and began experimentation with leather as a material. This led to an understanding of the material, products, and the commerce behind them and laid the foundation of Loco Design as it is called today. He has worked in the luxury lifestyle industry for the past 25 years. His passion for meticulous detailing, bridging traditional craftsmanship and new technologies can be seen in the work for brands such as Ralph Lauren, Tory Burch, Oscar de la Renta, Fenty, Armani Casa, etc. Alongside this portfolio of alliances, local design services operate through three distinct spheres, paint arc, crafted inter interior surfaces, madhiki, tailored furniture and accents, and tama, retail lifestyle. Welcoming Mr. Singh. Hi. Hi. Next up, we have Mr. Naresh Dubli. He is the head commercial excellence Asia and FMD of Armstrong Ceiling Solutions India Private Limited. Armstrong is a global leader in design and manufacturing of ceilings and has a history of more than 155 years, offering innovative interior solutions that help to enhance comfort, save time, improve building efficiency, overall performance, and create beautiful spaces. In his role, he is responsible for driving the Armstrong India business for healthcare and education verticals. He is passionate about transforming the way kids learn in schools and, and patients get healed in Indian hospitals. Over the past few years, Naresh and his team have impacted ceiling installation quality in India, upgrading the skills of ceiling installation and contractors in India. Welcoming Naresh. Next, we have our youngest panelist, who is Miss Shelja Agarwal. She's the director of marketing for Amolia Maika. She is a next generation businesswoman a graduate in liberal arts and humanities, followed by a course in business management from the prestigious SPJ Institute of Global Management, Mumbai, specializing in marketing. After studying in Mumbai, Dubai, and Singapore, post her PG, she followed the family tradition of entrepreneurship and started an e-commerce business. After stabilizing her own venture, she decided to join her father's business and as per Shelja, she found this brick and mortar business, unlike her e-commerce venture, more complex. To get a proper orientation, she started at the bottom as a management trainee, rotated through various functions before taking care, taking charge of the area of her interest and passion, which is marketing. Digital cataloging and business analytics are a couple of projects she has recently launched. Hi, Shelja. Next up, we have architect Badrinath Kaliru, Principal Studio Ardet. Believing that every problem has the capacity to inspire unique and creative solutions, the young duo of Badrinath Kaliru and Prerna Agarwal founded Studio Ardet in the year two, uh, 2010. Located in Chandigarh, this team of IIT alumni aims to make each project a study in logical and comprehensive designing. His major accomplishments include the Architecture Master Prize, Chicago Athenaeum Award, Eurasian Award, and has secured a position as finalists for the three consecutive years at World Architecture Festival 2015, 17, and 2018. Studio Ardit is known for their creativity with innovative surfaces, materials, forms, and geometry, whether in commercial, residential, institution, or institutional or even furniture design. 
Hi, Badrinath. Next up, we have architect Indrajit Kembavi. Indrajit is a partner at Kembavi Architects Foundation, one among the most diverse and successful architectural and design practices in India, offering broad range of specialized services that includes sectors like healthcare, hospitality, housing, commercial spaces, public and institutional buildings. The firm is known for its eco-sensitive approach to design and is among the pioneering green firms of the country. He is a keen learner and observer. Indrajit is also into construction and is a partner with two renowned firms. He focuses on management systems, de design and license. Welcoming Indrajit. Hi. Hi. Next up, we have Pragat Tivedi. Pragat Divedi is one of India's topmost journalist and publisher of wood panel and building materials news and market research. His chief areas of operations are predictions, forecast, writing, consulting, and helping businesses to identify bottlenecks, scale up and grow through deep diving research and analysis. He is a, master's of, he is a master of statistics and loves data-driven analytics. Mr. Divedi is the director of Bixi Marcom India Private Limited and founder editor of the Ply Reporter, Furniture Design Technology and India Interior Retailing. Pragat will be joining us in some time. Next up, I, uh, I am welcoming Vartika Divedi, who is also going to be moderating the panel. She is the chief editor of the popular architecture and design magazine Surfaces Reporter and the founder of Asia's largest platform for women in design called Wade Asia. Vartika is an award-winning entrepreneur, speaker, and Asia Book of Record holder, passionate about water awareness and helping startups and female-owned businesses to rise. Content is her forte, and she loves to design and curate design and art architecture festivals. Her last education was senior management study at IIM Calcutta. Now, before we start, I would also take, like to take this opportunity to introduce our Powered By partner for this session, Amulya Maika. Amulya Maika is one of the fastest growing laminates brand in India, a premium brand of subsidiary of Purbanchal Laminates Private Limited, and ISO 9001, 14001, and OSAS 18001, FSC certified and IGBC membership company. Under the dynamic guidance of the company's chairman, Mr. Om Prakash Agarwal, managing directors, Mr. Rakesh Agarwal, Mr. Mukesh Agarwal, and Mr. Girdhari Lal Dukanya, Purbanchal Laminates Private Limited started its journey from Gandhidam Kutch, Gujarat in 2004, with a vision to build an extraordinary organization that would create a long lasting value for its customers, business associates, and contribute towards the make in India skilled India mission. Today, Amulya Maika is a government recognized star export house, a renowned name in the Indian laminate industry, and is emerging as one of the major players in the global market with its presence in more than 20 countries and boasts of more than 70 distributors, 3000 dealers, and a sales team of 150 plus Pan India. Welcoming all the panelists one again, once again, and all the attendees as well. Over to you, Vartika. And in case uh, there is a video that the tech team would want to play, uh, they can play it now.
Thank you. Thank you, team. Vartika, I think yeah, I'm going to start. Uh, thank you, Madhu, for reading out the profiles. And uh, I will go with a lot of speed, a lot of interactions. You know, as soon as I feel that one particular question is answered, I'll just move to someone else. Some of the questions I might just be shooting to all of you. Feel free to, you know, answer. Feel free to add perspective. Feel free to add your, your view on that. So without wasting more time, I would like to go ahead with my first question. And that is about, I would like to know where are we standing, you know, uh, in terms of the topic that we have with us today about the, uh, the, Kind of the situation that we are facing. How many of you think that you know the crisis that we are in this present moment? Uh, it can be an opportunity in disguise. It is an opportunity that many of us can use to maybe pivot to some kind of a different, um, you know, different track altogether, and maybe for even different and uh, better growth. How many of you think like that? So in just yes or no, or maybe if you have a different opinion, we will. Co I'll come uh, with a lot of questions. You know, following this. So, what do you think? Uh, I'll start, with Mr. Shah. Do you think it can? Is this an opportunity in disguise? Uh, I think it's an opportunity in disguise because yes. I think you last think, yes. couple of months. Uh, yes. I gave so you a time to rethink. Yes, yeah. So, in the beginning, and then move ahead, yes. and then come with the other questions. Yes, Indraji, what do you think? Hundred percent confident that this is a time for a lot of opportunity. Okay, and uh, Dr. Subramanian. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about Mr. Singh? I think so too. I think it's a it, it was it was it's a time for change, and uh, if we if we think positively, I think there's a lot of opportunity, which is which is uh, you know which is staring right at our faces. Okay. And what about Mr. Naresh? Like World War Two. After that, industrial revolution and the growth and a technology evolve, we are going to come up much stronger as as human race as a company. After this, Sorry. to come. Sherja? Yeah, so as history says it, that after every depression, there's ought to be a boom. So I correctly agree with this statement. You that think so? What about, what about Badrinath? I think it's a reboot time that we can actually do a reboot now. Okay. Fine. So saying yes means you'll be getting a lot more questions from me, and I would like to know how and why and what are you doing. You have to share a lot more things. Saying no was a much more safer thing with me. Anyway. <laughs> going ahead, going ahead, I will move to my next question and definitely I would like to know briefly, briefly in one or two sentences, what kind of impact, what kind of impact, you know, it has been on your business, on your work. So, starting with, uh, starting with Mr. Ramki Subramanian. Uh, the, uh, you know, our line of work, obviously, we have multiple sets of products. The impact has been pretty diverse. In some areas, it has been absolutely, you know, uh, in the doldrums. But in other areas, we've, we've been uh, much, uh, you know, uh, really ha having a tough time fulfilling orders. So it's a mixed bag, I would say. But in the, in obviously, in the area that, uh, that we are currently talking about, it's it's not been very, very happy uh, times for us the uh, last couple of months. But we are gearing up for what I think is going to be a good good revival. What about what about you, Mr. Shah? What are what kind of things you face? Tell me. Yeah, it's I think more of a stencil for last couple of months, and you know, waiting, being in Mumbai for the to turn. Mm -hmm. uh, just check, like uh, I think there's a little bit of echo uh, from your side, Mr. Shah. If there's any other device conflicting. Uh, no, I the, think uh, yeah. You can just take it off for a while. Okay. So, uh, what about you, Mr. Singh? What do you think? What kind of impact? Uh... We've, we've, we've seen impacts at multiple different levels. Um, internationally, uh, I feel our business, you know, slowed down for a little bit, but I think there is, um, there has been a positive, um, uh, you know, upturn in the last, in the last one month approximately. Um, I think globally people have, people have realized that it's, uh, you know, it's uh, one can't just sit back and wait for the horizon because horizon is not visible to anybody right now. Um, so people are reinventing themselves, re rethinking in terms of how they want to do business. Um, and I think that's, that's kick-started uh, um, a lot of the work internationally. Um, 
but in india yes there has been there's been quite a slow down but uh, um, although we were we were extremely busy in the last uh, two and a half months uh, taking care of all the new uh, you know uh, inquiries and things that uh, you know, and, and questions that came up. Yes, I'm sure like, you know, um, uh, the greater the impact, the busier we get and the greater the impact, the busier, you know, the greater we rise. So I think like, uh, 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 Mr. Naresh, would you like to add something to it? Yeah, so uh, for a company like ours, which has multinational presence, the logistics, the supplies, uh, again, looking at various segments in the business, you know, so office is going to a shift and then healthcare became important, the product innovation around it, all those things are taking precedence uh, and learning. So that is why. So let's, uh, let's just, uh, you know, let me go to the architects and understand what kind of impact architecture firms are facing and, you know, what what is the kind of impact in their cities. So I'll start with Indrajit. If you can share something, Indrajit, about Bangalore and what kind of impact you, you think like architecture firms are facing today. See, these are very interesting times. And there are a lot of challenges that we all know. First is the labor problem, which has happened due to mass migration now. So the sites are working with limited labor. I think that's the biggest problem that is facing the industry right now to get things back on track, to get the projects faster. I think all sites are operating at around 20 to 30% capacity at a maximum, which is the biggest challenge. Apart from that, I feel the supply chains at all levels are slightly disturbed, but they are slowly coming on, tra on track. As far as work is concerned, it is a time for major adaptation. Like earlier, we used to, I personally feel a lot of wastage of time and resource has been curved now. Things which were happening in a complicated way using travel, time and distance have become simplified now and we are doing things over mail, things over Zoom meetings or things or virtually. Also, another trend that I see is a lot of efficiency has set up in the system and we have become greatly efficient compared to before. We are not wasting resources. And very advantageous point that we are seeing, see, essentially being an intellectual company, we are probably one of the drivers of change in what's going to happen in future. And we are seeing a lot of rethought happening towards design of any kind of buildings, whether it's commercial, retail, uh, uh, housing, or whatever it is. We were quite worried during the lockdown that things might not open and things might slow down, but con contrary to our views, we are extremely happy to say that everyone is working, you know, everyone is wanting to desperately come out of this crisis with renewed vigor and energy. And mm -hmm. we are seeing that all projects are moving ahead with full force, but only difference is that we are rethinking the way that we are doing things. So it's a very positive time and probably it will lead to a better country and economy. Uh, Indrajit, uh, Bangalore is probably doing better than most of India, isn't it? How is, how is Bangalore doing? See, relatively compared to most of other cities, Bangalore is definitely doing better because the number of cases are far lesser. Mm -hmm. And the whole logistics of Bangalore in terms of travel and stuff is also not very compromised. Mm -hmm. And there are very few containment areas. So because of that, things are still moving. So I can say that except the hospitality sector, which has been disturbed today, mm -hmm. I think most of the sectors are doing well and predominantly with 60% of the populace in the IT industry directly or indirectly. And mm -hmm. they're all working from home pretty efficiently. I mm -hmm. feel it has reduced the tax of the infrastructure load on the city, but it's getting work done. And the good news is most of the people who are in the IT sector haven't had salary cuts, haven't had too many layoffs. So mm -hmm. we feel that we are quite uh, relatively compared to other cities on a more stable ground. So what about the showrooms and all? Are uh, people, have people started visiting showrooms, looking at products? What is the scene? Yes, people have actually started. See, what has happened today is that it's uh, people do not waste time. You know, the whole change, as I told you, is that people have become more precise. Like earlier, there was a trend that people would visit 10 showrooms to select a particular product. Today, they're extremely clear that pre-identify what they want to do. Nobody wants to go and take a risk by visiting too many places. But when there is a need to visit a certain place, they do visit. Of course, showroom people are cooperating by sending samples also. So, you know, things, are, as I told you, are getting more streamlined and efficient and less contact driven. As I can see, someone is asking about uh, about the projects. Uh, have the projects and sites and all started? Is there a labor issue? How is the scene in Bangalore? There are definitely labor issues. No, saying that there are no issues is very wrong. There are labor issues. There are supply chain issues too. Because of even factories getting affected, building materials, interior materials are not reaching at the same speed, at the same speed as what is required. Of course, the laborers are also less. And today with a lot of high-tech machinery in buildings, which are software controlled, it's very difficult to operate the machinery also because it is designed to operate a certain quantum of load. 
but today mm-hmm. since the capacities are at 20% definitely there is a huge disturbance in terms of sites and especially from labors but of course this is now again leading to people you know thinking about reskilling reinvention like today any project that we think of the whole emphasis is on technology home emphasis whole emphasis on modular or how thing, things can be factory manufactured and only assembled at site so we mm-hmm. probably see that this labor migration is going to be an adversity for some time but it's going to be a period of reskilling where mm-hmm. a lot of technology will come in play and these laborers will have to get reskilled reskilled and retrained to you know handle that technology mm-hmm. so probably thank you indrajit uh, for this comprehensive you know um, answer really it was nice and i'm sure everybody understood and really got a picture or could visualize a picture of bangalore in a good way so i would like to know what's going on in chandigarh and what is the uh, kind of status of the sites there in chandigarh badri if you can uh, share some light on that yeah basically here also like uh, the problem with migrant labor i think it's dependent like like uh, punjab and haryana are also states which predominantly depend on migrant labor so um, it is actually pretty tough in a sense that uh, in a broadly like even uh, today like for example because being tied to cities we are more prone to uh, this migration because the availability are probably like because uh, end of the day if for example a person is moving to a bigger city and to a slightly smaller city is probably mm-hmm. because of again the demand so the system. labor labor problem is there uh, what about uh, the status of the showrooms and retail points and all that in terms of uh, you know interior uh, they are uh, slowly opening up i think because of the number of cases are less i think most of our city all the tri city have been opened up and but again like there is a lot of refrain in terms of uh, like people opting out to choose where to go and trying to minimize it so mostly it's like again we are switching to digital means to access products and to communicate things in form of zoom meetings so to keep more things like as uh, indrajit rightly said it is becoming more precise and more clarity in terms of what people want rather than being more explorative in terms of what they look right so uh, what about the projects like you know the pending projects that were there when the lockdown started have the pro- pending uh, are the pending projects uh, going on some of them finished what is the kind of the status uh, of your yeah, project uh, they have started back and they are moving on but not to the same pace actually like uh, it's a, actually it's a 20 to 30% uh, status of the available okay. resources and everything so people are slowly pushing up because everybody wants to Uh, keep moving in this particular certain times and just keep moving as much as possible and also being a tied to city we are mostly dependent on national uh, capital region for a lot of resources and that is actually that is not opened up to a full extent is actually affecting yeah. us uh, greatly fine so after getting a perspective from architects and uh, a brief about uh, you know how the situation has impacted everyone i will i will directly go to strategies and what are companies doing at the moment to you know to overcome this crisis or maybe as uh, the architects also pointed out it people have become more explorative okay they are trying out ideas resources they are very very keen on uh, saving resources everything is getting done in as um, you know as much as possible in the virtual form but panel services boards being a very very touch feel you know touch and feel kind of a product let's see what are the experts in this field doing so i'll move uh, i'll uh, i'll start with now naresh yes sir naresh so naresh tell me one thing you have been very busy i know yeah and your look has also changed the last time we met and now that i can see you you have totally changed yes quarantine look yeah so <laughs> the impact of lockdown huh yeah. <laughs> so what have you been doing how are you how are you uh, thinking and what are your strategies what are the strategies that you are adopting to sail through this time and emerging out more more you know much more successful so if the rate of change of uh, any organization is faster inside than the industry you know in the, you know company wins as a simple principle so we've been investing time to upgrade our skills knowing our craft at a whole new level uh so that's where we have spent time over last 70 75 days every day resolving to 2 to 2 and 1/2 hours of preparing listening to various training sessions getting deeper into it getting larger perspective we also invested time in uh, fast forwarding the innovation and the product which are working on so uh, there's a quick uh, relook at what we are offering and uh, different solution for different spaces is so all- in 
terms okay. of in terms of product offering have you changed anything have you done anything according to the new needs have you done anything or is there going to be a new launch that we are going to see uh, or in terms of market overview uh, the way that you look at market or the, the way that uh, products move to the market or the way that things get installed or a new sector is what's the, what's new what have you done to uh, you know kind of sail through that correct so a very important question like we are not going to be going back to the same normal before you know life has shifted for all of us post covid having said that let's look at how our buildings are done how our offices are done how our homes are done are going to change dramatically when we come back now simple thing like we got into a recent fashion of having ceilings which are cloud based designers and open kind of a thing now post covid architects and designers and even occupant are going to be very paranoid about dust particles um uh, about you know viruses on the surfaces and stuff like that uh the open duct collecting dust you know fixtures which are black is 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 a thing of the past according to me we are going to go back to the wall to wall ceiling where you are protected with dedicated exhaust ducts so that dust is not coming back into your air conditioning systems is a new norm and a lot of hospitals i'm connected with they already started updating on that uh, the product like bioguard which i put on the background it's something which we had for 40 years bioguard acoustics so we are launching something in metal also on the same variant which is which will work very effectively toward in enhancing the safety enhancing the confidence and that material can also be used the metal version on the walls also so mm -hmm. quite a bit i'm um, excited for the product launches which are going to come in yes, yes. at the same time i'm also confident about way we are going to engage with architects with customers for mm -hmm. hospitals for schools so narin what i think somehow from what you have said is that jo 40 saal mein use nahi hua tha abhi shayad uska use karne ka waqt aa gaya people are going to be moving towards more sustainable safe and you know all these kind of things and you talked about biocard in in that segment i would like to know from shelja uh, shelja how has your company been you know what has your company been doing to um, you know uh, work out this time this corona crisis that it has come yeah so basically during this particular so basically during this particular time what we as a company have done we've stayed in regular touch with our dealers and dis dealers and distributors we've uh, been in regular contact with them probably more than what we were earlier and we have tried to build a moral of everybody through sending motivational quotes messages on a regular basis and with our sales team what we have done particularly for one full month we were in regular touch with them we had uh, two hours of webinar every day with our whole pan india sales team to keep them motivated so that so they don't get to say like uh, you have been engaged you know you have been I trying to engage them, uh, your your stakeholders and you know partners engaged yes. other yes. than that in terms of product or marketing strategy or anything have you done anything on that yeah, yeah. yeah so in terms of product launches uh, we are also looking at uh, quite a few new products that will be coming up uh, in uh, after covid and few of them have already uh, in i in pipeline for the next week for instance uh, we are going to launch uh, antibacterial laminate to focus on this uh, covid situation we have also increased the warranty of our laminate products from 7 years to 10 years with the same pricing we are also focusing on bringing rainbow series wpc products which will be in nine different colors so that because wpc is one product that will be much more in demand than other products as it is more focused towards health our wpc product is lead free it is uh, antibacterial it is rohs compliant so those kind of products are in pipeline and as far mm -hmm. okay so i come 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 to that but uh, i'll uh, i'll be glad if you people can little bit focus on the strategy that you people are adopting so uh, yes mr subramanian um you have to unmute Can you I hear me now? Yes, you have to repeat right. whatever you have said. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, um, we are a fairly new entrant in this space, so for us, it's more about uh, getting back in the game and uh, uh, making sure that we are able to connect with our uh, stakeholders. We want to actually create 
uh, an ecosystem whereby we connect with all the way from the architects down to the end users and be able to recognize that the uh, now understand what the changes are going to be. There are going to be some knee-jerk reactions and there are going to be some long-lasting changes. We want to understand what that pattern is going to be and adapt. Our product line is going to be uh, revitalized and, and uh, re-energized as we reintroduce the product. So these are the kind of changes that we are looking at from a strategy point of view and also so how we really connect with our stakeholders. Uh, are you thinking of any change in the product or in the offering, in the price, in the kind of delivery? More, sure, it's, it's in the delivery and also from a solutions thinking mindset. It's not just about the material, it's about how the architect can, can visualize the material, how the end user can visualize the material, and how the material can be fabricated into the final product. So you're looking at it from a solution mindset rather than just here is another material. That's the fundamental change that we're going to bring about. So what is what is you know what is the change that COVID has brought? What kind of change in terms of solution also? Like what kind of change that you people are thinking of in the in the product? Yeah. I, you know, one of the things that I see that you know once uh, the lockdown started, I'm sure everybody has seen pictures of the clean Ganga and and the cleaner air. I think people are going to be a lot more serious about sustainability and saving the environment. It's going to be a lot more than lip service. So we are looking at it from a cradle to cradle kind of a life cycle and how do we position our product in this overall ecosystem and you know, bring about the fact that this is not really a sustainable product. Also, once the end of life is there, from, a, from our end, you know, from a user's perspective, how can that then be translated to a completely recycling the full material and making new objects out of it? So we are looking at it from that perspective also. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Mr. Shah, I would uh, like to know from you. Oh uh, Yes, uh, for us, uh, we did uh, a lot of focus on definitely on the digital side as we see that uh, things are going to be different uh, going ahead. People visiting showrooms are going to comparatively less. Also to increase the lateral spread, uh, we have come out with the concept of uh, DIY kits for the material which we were selling in volume. So mm -hmm. to create the market and a uh, platform on e-commerce to sell it on a smaller volumes and uh, make it to reach uh, more people. So for and, example, uh, uh, Mr. Himanshu, like uh, your products are project based, right? And uh, uh, they're on the they're on the uh, higher price side. They're on the price right. So have you thought of anything about launching anything affordable because something uh, Yes, we do have we yes, we do are coming out with a uh, uh, quite affordable range which is uh, will be easier to use and you don't require skilled labor to do so. So these are going to be more of a do it yourself kits kind of a stuff which will be uh, uh, focusing on our concept of uh, innovative finishes but it will be much easier to use by people and all the technology what we'll be bringing will be green technology. So even we are going to encourage people to do it things themselves rather than actually waiting for people to come to do it. So this is the new launch which we are going to come out with uh, and a lot of uh, digital training uh, videos and things to support them to make it easier for them to apply. So this is a major change which we are bringing down post uh, COVID. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Manshu, for adding this. And I would like to go to Paminda because I know that uh, he is also into a luxury kind of products. And what kind of shift and change has, you know, have you uh, brought in or wanting to bring in in your products or style of delivery? There are two, two major impacts which I feel that, you know, uh, which have happened uh, because of this. Um, for our international market, we've seen that, you know, uh, most of the product development was done in collaboration with, uh, with our clients um, who, who are very specific about what exactly they want, the kind of materials, the kind of techniques uh, that we would apply. Uh, the challenge that we face now is to how do we get that information across to them? Um, and that information uh, um, needs to be much better documented, uh, which means we need to come up with better presentations, more uh, descriptive ways of defining how um, how we can create opportunities for them in terms of uh, creating better and new products. Um, that means educating them about the techniques, about the about the technology, about the crafts that we you know that we um, that we use. 
So um, that's going to be the first. Uh, that's the first big change that we are that we're trying to bring about. The second big change that we're trying to bring about is Indraji. You know, earlier touched upon that is that you know in India we're not used to um, working. Uh, you know, as as international studios would work, they would they would probably send an email to the desk right next to them. Uh, we guys are used to getting up and walking into each other's cabins and and then trying to discuss things because we like that personal touch we like that you know interaction on a personal level um that's something that we you know that we've that we've tried to change and, we, and, and i feel that you know the entire team has been fairly uh, uh you know fairly efficient and very successful in in adapting that uh, and and that to me is is one of the biggest reliefs and you know because of uh, because of this uh, situation because now we can actually function the way uh, you know a studio truly needs to function which is exchange of information in a documented form uh, mm-hmm. so those are the two big big challenges of the two two big changes that we're bringing about the third okay. thing mm-hmm. yeah, yeah the third the third thing is is about the product itself um you know we we deal in the very highest level of luxury and uh, you know the kind of brands that we work with Uh, also the architects and the interior designers that we work with expect a certain caliber of product uh, from us uh, one thought process is that you know because the country is going uh, is is going through this and and, and globally everybody is going through this the uh, you know the expectation would be that we bring down uh, the costs of our products uh, or we create cheaper products uh, i am of the belief that also during this time there are people who are going to become much more discerning as to what they buy mm-hmm. uh, value instead of volume which means they'd much rather buy that one uh, one good thing rather than buying 10 10 things and then regretting all 10 of them um mm-hmm. so that's the so oh, wonderful a uh, wonderful uh, set of you know perspectives with someone trying to build in both using digital technology craft and all that but someone trying to also launch something of the portable range someone shifting more into the sustainable and someone trying to be more 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 you know uh, on the value based thing with this with this set of thoughts about the strategies and all that i'm moving to a fast pace set of questions wherein you will just answer to me in a single sentence uh, okay uh, so how is the market how do you see the market recovery how do you see the market recovery what is the kind of a present situation i'll ask to the companies first what is the kind of the business that is happening right now in percentage if we compare probably to with uh, maybe feb 2020 what what percentage of feb 20 business are you are you able to do now at the, at this moment yes uh, mr uh, shah approximately around 5 to 10% it's still under lock <laughs> right 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 and how do you see it like you know in the in the in, in this financial year uh, how- we see the international markets opening up so those inquiries have started the orders have started and locally we still have to see how the situation progresses further yeah so narish yeah so currently we are at the same level like 10% kind of stuff mm-hmm. uh, and how where do you see it in the uh, in the in the you know in end of this fy so uh pan india we should end up around 70 80% of our plan as we going mm-hmm. ahead there's a strong funnel which is mm-hmm. looking up and uh, there are sites uh, there are commitment mm-hmm. so uh, again depend how does it nobody knows exactly how is going nobody to nobody knows but yes we so can only you know, know, yes, work that. towards yeah. something positive yes sure. um, um yes uh, mr uh, subramanian yeah like uh, the others have said our current business over the last couple of months has been pretty muted but we are starting to get uh, a fair number of inquiries and we are i think let's it's going to look positive but at the end of the year will probably be around the same 70% or so of mm-hmm. plan mm-hmm. what about you parminder what do you think um i think i mean we've discounted march completely of course uh, so uh, in april i think we we are we are at about 60% of of the business that we did last year uh, and in may uh, sorry in may uh, i mean march and april were dead uh, may we did about 60% of the business uh, june we are expecting to scale it up to about 70 75% no so uh, when you think the person you are comparing with uh, comparing with last year same month or you are comparing year. with last year same months 
um, and I feel the single single biggest reason for that has been that there is a uh, is is a focus on design, and I think design is is the single biggest reason why uh, the clients have have uh, have, you know, have, have stuck on with uh, with what what they've ordered and they and they want it. Uh, your business, uh, your business is quite international uh, in terms of you know the delivery and uh, the people that uh, the the clients that you have. So how is uh, how do you compare uh, at the moment, you know, and how do you see the recovery on international versus India? How do you see what what are you seeing at the moment? I feel since uh, since the virus is on downturn in most of the countries, I think you know people are uh, people are uh, working a lot more efficiently there. Uh, India, unfortunately, you know, uh, it's a it's a very fluid situation. It's difficult to predict exactly which which way we are going. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, horizons have been you know uh, peaks have been pegged at July, August, September, October. Nobody really knows exactly where you know what we are headed to. So uh, it's difficult to predict where you know which way the Indian market is going to go. Uh, but I would say um, it's. It's not been as scary as 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 we had contemplated it to be at the beginning. Um, I'm 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 very positive that things are going to. That's good. That's good. Okay. See, India is on the rise in terms of uh, infections and cases. That's for that's true. But India is so big, and if you if you look at uh, overall market, it's not same everywhere. It's very different in different places. Like the way that Indrajit has talked about Bangalore. If I have to talk about Delhi, uh, you know, it's really different. It's, if we talk about Mumbai, it's different. And if we talk about Chandigarh, I'm sure it's different again. So, Shelja, um, you have had a you know uh, uh, talked about a very pretty picture of the place that you are from uh, how has been your business uh, so far you know uh, april may and all that and what are you expecting so basically for us in uh, may uh, we were 30 percent of what we were last year 30 percent production and sale but now in june month we've come uh, we've increased to 40 percent so for us i think it is becoming better over a period of time Okay, so market has been actually moving in a slow motion uh, for all, all of us, for everyone, but uh, it's different for different people for depending upon the product, type of product, and then the demand cycle that the product lies. So moving ahead with the next question, what do you think, which, which markets will recover faster in India and why? Anyone? Yeah. Really, South has taken a lead in terms of way they have managed. Kerala has been a model. Mm. And uh, culturally, habits-wise, it's a different country. It's, it's like entire world into India. If you really see the different so states, south, south you know, and especially uh, Kerala. Uh, that's what you think. What do you think, Indrajit and uh, Badri, and all of you? Just let's interact like this. Yes. So I personally, uh, your. Uh, uh, should I continue? Yes. Yes, please. Yeah, my personal thing is that apart from being south, north and things like that, I feel we'll have a cyclic effect based on the number of cases growing and residing in these places. Absolutely. And that will change the situation and scenarios. Hmm. But what I feel is we have to look at the market now more sectorally. I feel the housing market will be the fastest to recover. The healthcare hmm. market will be strong. Hmm. Followed by slow growth in industrial market. I think the market to improve the next will be uh, office spaces and mm -hmm. last will be probably hospitality and uh, retail and, uh, you know, like yes, micro hospitality, hospitality, unfortunately, might be the it's, last. That's what everybody's... Yes. So I personally think things? the recovery is going to be in this direction, probably, okay. sector -wise. sector wise. Sector wise, sector wise. Thank you. Thank you. Shelter, you were adding something? And uh, Mr. Shah and Subramaniam, uh, Mr. Yeah, Ramani. I think uh, also those uh, areas where labor is going to be... Uh, a challenge getting back to you know they will also be a little slower to get get back on track you know um, especially in things like uh, we see that in in the other area you know other businesses that we are in uh, mm. where recovery has started but clearly for the same kind of let's say textiles surat uh, versus coimbatore versus let's say ludhiana we see that big difference wherever labor is required that that seems to be a bigger a challenge so that should be an important criteria for how fast the markets recover right and should you predict something or um, so yeah, yeah. i was saying something that uh, for us uh, punjab region kerala and some parts of eastern india have shown yeah. good signs of recovery compared to other parts of the country and I also feel that uh, there was a webinar that I attended by Pragatji only. It was uh, regarding rural or urban. 
so through that also i could understand that rural areas or tier 2 tier 3 cities will have faster signs of recovery as compared to other metro cities okay okay so the um, so the trend of uh, people working from home uh, also our tier 2 cities where connectivity is not such a big issue we will see a shift happening of a uh, satellite offices getting formed tier 2 city getting importance for this mm. hospitals and tertiary care getting built up into you know which is which is anyway a, a niti ayog's agenda to improve the infrastructure so mm -hmm. that is going to drive the way buildings and construction and work going to happen and hence the network and the partner going to relocate themselves into more and more cities to grow their business is a need of an of for an hour right now coming in so that's a clear yeah. train so uh, panel boards and services you know um, it's as i uh, as i had mentioned earlier also it's a touch and feel product and definitely uh, brands are facing a lot of issue though they all are moving digital but they have a lot of issue so uh, this question is to the architects only uh, i would like to know what are your recommendations to brands and also uh, to you know the sellers how 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 should they how should they showcase their products and what should be the way out that way out that, uh, rather than just sharing a uh, maybe a catalog digital catalog something what what should be the way out yes um, badrinath and uh, indrajit i would like to know from you so uh, basically like uh, as we have seen in past also every time when there is like uh, we have adapted newer ways of uh, coming with catalogs like earlier there was a time where catalogs were pretty huge and bulky and now we are getting to resorting to more or more means and say suppose even from the people from the fraternity like most most of the architects today they even working with virtual catalogs for example personally we also work with lot with virtual catalogs and it's not like um, when you say that okay a particular product can be seen to a certain way because you are you're already using the product a variation in a product can be felt in a certain way even if you are uh, if you are seeing it digitally as well so i don't uh, think that it should be a like yes but many people they'll be forced to be digital now and uh, yes like catalogs and all for example even uh, in, there was a time for example materials like natural materials like marbles and veneers people used to say we would need to see the entire slab at particular lot but now today they would be even happy to see a smaller sample and do it the shift is happening probably some uh, things would take much faster but like for example sanitary and these kind of like boards also i think most of the then we still work with them with laminates and all it's only like okay if i have to see a certain laminate when i have to use it for a thousand sheets i would want to see it in person but otherwise like it is maybe we are good looking at smaller swatches and so, uh, what you what you mean badri uh, what you mean is that is a combination of digital and um, you know the sample the or the the sample the original sample that can be sent and architects are kind of receptive to that and they understand and a mix of both should be the way out indrajit what is your opinion how are you seeing things change in this and what what do you recommend i agree with most of what badri said i also feel a technology shift could be like we have fantastic printing technologies today and there are print text technologies which can also get out a texture out of a certain product So mm -hmm. probably the new age catalogs could be printed on this advanced technology where we can feel a product just feeling the catalogs. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, so wonderful. Be... So Parminder, I would like you to uh, tell me something because I know from Parminder's products they are very, very, very structurally strong. And even of uh, Mr. Shah, yeah, I've seen your products. So I would like to know uh, what Indrajit has uh, added is very. very interesting is it something possible that in with technology we'll be able to actually feel strict texture and all that without that real one what do you think parminder i don't think we can recreate that romance <laughs> <laughs> but some get close to it <laughs> it's the question uh, yeah it's 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 different actually holding hands and watching people uh, somebody else hold hold hands you know so uh, <laughs> it's it it could never be the same but yes uh, i think uh, given the situation uh, we need to come up with web, you know uh, much better ways of uh, presenting better photography so there's a whole range of creative inputs which can come in which you know which earlier people just used uh, as a way of presenting uh, you know basic work now i think it's going to be a lot more uh you know a lot more uh, need for the day um, that brings out the best possible 
uh, visuals of the product that one can create. Right. What I see, and I see very positive, is that architects are ready to, you know, compromise on, on that part of the romance, okay, mm -hmm. and ready to accept that kind of a thing, which can give them a little bit more experience than just seeing a photograph uh, digitally. Is it, uh, Indrajit, is that so? And yeah, yeah. Positive from... On online dating is in now, so we can't help it. <laughs> 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 so, Mr. Shah, for coming to you, I know you have wonderful textures and all that in your products. How do you see, like, do you see technology uh, uh, trying to, or helping to bridge that part? I think uh, the time has come where you need to balance it out. Uh, of course, you can't uh, let go of having the feel of the product. But I think uh, previously we used to send uh, too many samples and everything uh, to the architect and getting it personally. And post-COVID, the change is going to be like, it's going to be more of a virtual library first. And after their selections for their feel, maybe some smaller uh, cutout samples would be sent across for the feel of that. So that's going to be a major change. And I think that's been already adapted uh, as of now, where you give a complete virtual library and then they select things from that and then just send it to them for their feel of it. So that's going to be the change. And also a visualization of how the whole panel looks when you see the smaller ones, which is available yes. uh, visually. Because in panels, one needs to see it, you know, in uh, in a zoomed version, can should be able to feel the texture, yes. should be able to see it, and then want to see the entire an entire yes. panel altogether. So that's, that's the package what usually is available where you give it on a PDF or on a visual art. So see how it's going to be looked after installation and then send a smaller one to have a feel of that. So I think things are going to change. It's not going to be the same which way which it was before, but mm -hmm. it's going to be a balancing between the two. So Naresh, in, in, in terms of ceilings, you don't face all these issues, right? Yeah, being being like a pioneer in an old company, our samples are ample available with all architects. What is changing though, is the way we are interacting with the architects. Uh, so there are, there are webinar happenings, like, and uh, at the same time, we are connecting and looking at their drawings on their boards. And we are discussing at far more detail with architect, which room require privacy, which room require reverberation time getting down. And those kind of discussions are getting- right. at I have a question for you. I want to understand one thing. Like with work from home rising like anything, okay? And uh, people are now probably not realizing, but they will definitely realize that acoustic is one very important thing that will be required not only in the healthcare, they understand and they recognize this thing, but in work from home, you know, the work from home office will require this acoustics. Do you have any particular solution for that? So like I keep on saying in my conferences, sound affects us cognitively, behaviorally, psychologically, whether you like it or not, it's only present. And the new definition of green is not uh, any carbon counting, but the impact on the human behavior and human performance. And sound is going to get far more importance than before, like, you know, which was not there in terms of light and air conditioning. We were very conscious, but sound, we were ignoring it. Now, when we are working from home, our concentration, let's say you're working on a project and you get distracted. So how does your product uh, aid to that? How does your product help in that? So it's ABC of acoustics, which is going to be practiced by all the architects and all the customers. Uh, A is absorb unwanted noise, block, which is not required, and cover up by playing nice music like cafe. <laughs> That's oh. the way forward way the homes will be designing uh, in, in regions to come. And we have some interesting time coming up for that. Okay, 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 wonderful. So actually, Pragaji will be joining us right now. Okay, he is uh, now going to join us and he will give the final takeaway and all that. He had been listening to us now. So I'm, I'm, I'm bringing Pragaji in. Yeah, I also wanted to add, uh, Vodika, is the way. Yes. We are going to do business uh, and mm -hmm. for the people and for the audience, which are partners and, and our distributors and dealers and even architects firms is going to change fundamentally, which is going to be human centric, you know? So as part of the way forward, which we go on, we're going to make our organization changing the culture from whichever culture we are in, into a human oriented culture, into a learning oriented culture. Because the learning one will listen to the customer more attentively, will innovate product, and we'll get to the market faster with the premium. This is what mm -hmm. the way forward uh, as looking toward, you know, what is happening. Mm -hmm. 
So my last question to all of you before Pragati takes over. So that's about, uh, I would like to ask the architects. I, I get a lot of messages and, you know, as services reporter, we want to know many of the architects who are young and new and they have just started their businesses and they, they started their work and all that. You know, they are finding this, uh, this phase very confusing. Okay. So uh, Indrajit and Badri, what are your messages for them? I think like in this kind of uh, strange times, it's I said, like I rightly said, it is like a reboot thing. So they need to, they get, they get a lot of time to introspect, introspect and to see what were, what things they can improve because we cannot say that we are perfect. And for a young firm, it is, we might have actually started up some uh, practices, which was not appropriate, or we can make a, make, uh, make things more efficient. And it is a time wherein we can, uh, for example, like a small example, like earlier, we used to have meetings and probably if you see, we are from a tier two city in Northern region. So if for an, for a company like Armstrong or anything, probably this would be like after it is actually pretty far outreach after reaching so many cities, they would come to us. So meeting a top level person from such company like that would be far more complicated for us compared to our, our practice in Mumbai. So when you look at this as this perspective, the, the whole horizon has actually diluted the differences of distances which is a very important thing wherein now we can actually connect, we can actually take insights and connect on one to level basis. And that's when, because everybody is achieved to the new normal. So I think uh, like most of the places, probably like uh, the people and working in tier two cities would actually get much more advantages from uh, this current situation than it was uh, before. So Badri, what you're saying is very different and very positive. So the architects listening to this should understand what he's saying is that you should take advantage of this time when people are available digitally. They are available in the virtual, this thing. Attend important, important webinars. There are too many webinars, I understand, but you have to really be selective and you have to know which subjects you want to choose and attend them, understand them. Many people are available, take the help. Indrajit, I'm coming to you now. Yes. I, I feel it's a fantastic time for the newest architects who are coming today. Because see, we have been in a capitalist run. Everybody was running after projects, running after payments, running after things. Now, things are a little slow, in, a, in a slow motion. There's slow animation right now. So what happens is, what advantage the young architects have is that because of these webinars, like a lot of times we would not hear our peers talk and they would be doing their business. I would be doing my business. We used to meet probably four times a year in conferences, but with webinars and with so many interactions, I think these people can share ideas with different firms, understand things at a faster pace on a knowledge, uh, on a knowledge side. I think this is a very good thing that they have. Second side on the business side, what is to happen is instead of doing too many projects, which will not be coming their way at this moment, people can focus more time on a certain project. So probably we'll see the evolution of better projects with more enhanced detailing, which would be coming out. So I feel in a way, you know, it's sometimes slowing down and looking at things. It's like walking where you observe every tree, every flower, unlike zipping past in a car. So we are at that pace right now. And I think it's going to be a very valuable time where we'll all upskill ourselves and become much better. And it will be a special boon for the youngsters. Okay, so youngsters who have joined uh, architecture and design field recently and finding it confusing, don't be confused. Don't be confused. You are listening to uh, people who you may not have, you know, had the uh, opportunity to listen earlier. Uh, and it's an it's a time to learn. Use the digital medium to learn and grow. So, uh, coming to all of you, like whoever would like to share anything, any messages to the dealers community, any messages to the architects community, please do. Pragaji is going to take three over in just two minutes. Yes. From, from our perspective, we are going to look at uh, connecting very differently. We are an atypical reliance business. So we are going to be looking to engage more in collaboration and build an ecosystem so that we look at an end-to-end -end, uh, process and, and uh, from a solutions basis. That's, and so that's what we are uh, looking forward to, to getting into going wonderful, wonderful. And beyond forward. Wonderful. Sharja, you wanted to say something. Yeah, so I was just saying that um, there is this one uh, sentence that I would like to conclude with. Uh, Amulya, as a company, we are there with you. We are there because you are there. That is my only message to dealers. And uh, for architects, I would just like to say that we as a company, 
are looking at more innovative products launching more innovative products as i mentioned earlier so we will be catering to your needs uh, fulfilling those hygiene uh, hygiene factor into our products and uh, i would welcome all the panel members and all the attendees to come visit our factory and uh, see the hygiene factor for our products for themselves as soon as the covid crisis is over yeah, yeah of course <laughs> after after <laughs> yes yes we can all make a visit yeah so yeah. anything that uh, mr shah paminder naresh would like to add yeah, so any messages uh, it's, this is watershed event in the history of uh, mankind so what is going to happen is we need to really look at our business whatever will be done by machine will be done by machine and only human will do human job so there is a rescaling required changing of the job is required and what is most important is we getting back as a leader of organization whether it's a architect firm or a dealer to look back as our own characteristics because you know our employees and our customers like our kids they listen through eyes not through ears so no matter what you are preaching if you are not practicing it on a day to day basis you are going to hit a road block because companies are going to recrystallize the larger companies will capitalize on this opportunity people who have cash reserves in real estate are, are buying big time they are investing the assets which are not available like stock market so we got to be mindful about the way world is changing around us reskill develop ourselves behave and change leadership style these are the three mantras which i want to give it uh, to every dealer and partner who is looking at it and thank you so and much this will grow for them yeah. whether they are small or big they will grow in this time okay so now i'm uh, handing it over to pragat ji uh, pragat ji hello so, yeah hi how are you good morning everyone good morning all of you uh, I think I'm audible. Vertika, you must have unmuted. Audible, yes. And Pravin, you always says good morning only. It's never good afternoon. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm always till 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 late evening. I'm I'm on the good morning side. Uh, you people have talked too much in English, and I think there is injustice yes, happening with my Hindi. Uh, so, in, if you can speak in Hindi, it will be great. Without saying so, I'm going in Hindi. Thank you, all the panelists, and my Pragat Divedi surfaces. Ki taraf se aaj. रिप्रेजेंट करते हुए टेक अवे देने की कोशिश करूंगा लेकिन इसके पहले कुछ क्यूरियस क्वेश्चंस हैं स्पेशली दो आर्किटेक्ट से मिस्टर कैम्बी आपने कहा कि छोटों को बहुत फायदा है इस समय का वो लाभ उठा सकते हैं स्मॉल स्टार्टअप आर्किटेक्ट्स कैन बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट मुझे ये समझ नहीं आया कि वेबिनार्स में इतना बोर करते आर्किटेक्ट लोग तो वो छोटे तो सो जाते होंगे स्ट्रेट लर्न कहा करते हैं वो तो अपनी बातें ही करते दे डोंट लर्न आई है Uh, uh, that i did a survey to so many architects about what is happening and how you guys are learning now they say that we have learned enough nahi nahi abhi opportunity bahut hai see everyone is trying to cut cost so they will go to smaller firms that is one thing pehli baat <laughs> second thing kya ye nikla so here comes the point is that smaller firms have a cheaper cost and as mr badri सेट कि छोटे लोगों की आपस में करें कर सकती है सो डिस्टेंस इज डाइल्यूटिंग सो बद्री व्हेन डिस्टेंस इज डाइल्यूटिंग हाउ अ कंपनी विल टेक अपॉइंटमेंट एक छोटी सी कंपनी आप लोगों से अपॉइंटमेंट वीडियो पर कैसे लेती है जरा इसका फार्मूला बताएं मेल भेजें फोन करें फॉलो अप करें आप छोटे जूनियर को देंगे आप खुद अटेंड करेंगे मेरे को सिर्फ ये बताइए कि एक कंपनी अपॉइंटमेंट लेती कैसे आर डेट में आज की डेट में सर देखिए जिसके कारण प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है की यू ये आपको ये नहीं पता होता है की आप मतलब आप क्लाइंट का फोन उठा रहे हो कोई किसी पर्टिकुलर किसी का फोन उठा रहे हो या फोन उठा रहे हो तो अक्सर ऐसा होता है जैसे हमें किसी और से फोन उठाना पड़ता है या समझना पड़ता है कि मतलब अभी वो एक्चुअली में कोई क्लाइंट है या बार बार जैसे कोई सेल्स गाय को जिसको नंबर दे दिया वो सुबह से लेके शाम तक फोन कर रहे हैं हमें बिकॉज हमें कोई मतलब राइट वे में इन्फॉर्मेशन मिले उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है प्रॉब्लम क्या है कि जो इन्फॉर्मेशन हमें पता है वो बार बार हमें दिए जा रहे हैं बार बार हमें नॉक करे जा रहे हैं मतलब इस तरह से जो इन्फॉर्मेशन होता है वो चीज को कंफर्म करने के लिए एटलीस्ट अगर हमें अगर हम मीटिंग स्केड्यूल करेंगे और पंद्रह मिनट के लिए अगर हमारे इन्फॉर्मेशन देंगे जी सर एक चीज एम आई ऑडियबल या 
अभी क्लियर है मुझे एक सवाल और पूछना है कि अगर एक कंपनी बम्बई या चेन्नई या कहीं कलकत्ता में है तो उसको ये कैसे पता चले क्या आज की वर्चुअल की दुनिया में वो आ सकता नहीं सेल्समैन को टाइम मिलता नहीं उसको सपना कैसे आएगा कि मुझे किसको क्या देना है बेसिक क्वेश्चन है बहुत बेसिक है नहीं ऐसा होता है कि अगर जो मतलब आपकी बात ठीक है बट ऐसा नहीं कि जैसे अभी प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है कि जैसे अभी फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम स्ट्रॉन्ग है ठीक है अब आई एम स्ट्रॉन्ग की फॉर एग्जांपल मेरे को कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए और कोई सही बंदा दे दे ऑब्वियसली मैं लूंगा बट अगर कोई सेल्समैन जैसे मान लो जो मतलब एक बहुत ओवर वापस एक ही चीज को बार बार बताया और जो इन्फॉर्मेशन जो हमें चाहिए वो नहीं मिल रही है तो उस चीज में दिक्कत होगी अगर हमें सही इन्फॉर्मेशन जो मांग रहे हैं वो दस मिनट में मिल जाए तो हम भी वो मीटिंग करेंगे ना क्यों नहीं करेंगे चलिए एक सवाल किम भाभी जी से किम भाभी जी अगर आप जानते हैं कि आमस्ट्रांग या रिलायंस या ये सब बड़ी कंपनी है और इनके महंगे प्रोडक्ट्स हैं चाहे वो फॉल्स चाहे वो सीलिंग में हो चाहे कॉस्टिक बोर्ड में हो या डब्ल्यू पी में हो बोर्ड में हो तो आप इस वक्त क्या सच में कोई ऐसी कंपनी को मौका देना चाहेंगे जो सस्ती और ये पहचानेंगे कैसे की वो कंपनी सस्ती दे रही है या बढ़िया दे रही है हाउ विल यू पिन पॉइंट हाउ विल यू आइडेंटिफाई बाई चेकिंग ऑन मेल्स और बाई स्टिल फ्लिपिंग द सर्फेसेज पी डी मैगजीन or you look for how do you find it see i'll tell you one thing see today we have we have opened up availability is a lot like badri said sales wale to piche lage rehte hain some companies are poor in sales now sales has to be strong marketing has to be strong so if they are able to convince us that their product is good today it's not that we are going to ignore their products people want to cut cost that's a reality kisi ko bhi aaj excess paise dekhna nahi hai everybody is conserving cash cash is the king is the biggest mantra today sabse zyada koi bhi jaat ka aadmi wohi japta hai aajkal so is may it is like going to be like it is going to be a competitive game for some time because everybody's cash flows are stressed irrespective of industry to hum sabko to har product explore karna hi hai aaj mujhe aur ek cheez chhota sa cheez jo bolna tha jo reh gaya is that we are when we are talking about surfaces everybody of us knows ki aaj copper ke upar 3 ghanta virus dikhta hai plastic ke upar 70 ghante dikhta hai so i think it's an opportunity for a coating industry where they come across and come up with antiviral products which are on the coated surface either it's with nanotechnology or with regular coating where they can become a game changer and you know start giving antiviral antibacterial products as a standard like green products became one time again i think it is also about uh, i i need to add a point on this like when there was a catch earthquake it was uh, the entire uh, india's reinforcement standards got changed and it was part of the codes so something like uh, after this i think the hygiene codes if because it is not an option here like if the, the entire hygiene codes have been forced to do a certain thing i think people would have to follow like in uh, some of the countries like uh, uk and all they don't discuss sustainability anymore because it's part of their codes and you cannot actually uh, get away with it so when you all everybody is doing the same things and there is nothing to discuss about it i think there will be a very stronger hygiene code that will be needed so so this bioguard metal is a new product which we are coming up with along with bioguard acoustics our team will certainly get in touch with you and we are going to launch a large marketing campaign around it so and we will have it reach as you said at a most economical yes. pricing distribution mm-hmm. available thank you for that yeah, yeah i know it is gone hang hang over your computer you can take over is it hanging yeah listen pragat ji is not uh, you know he's uh, got some technical issues so i'm taking over again um so what i understood from this uh, very 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 sharp shooting question of pragat ji is Uh, is about uh, the very pertinent questions that brands and architects have architects do feel that you know the brands especially the sales people who do not know much not have much knowledge about the product pushing and pushing architects to talk and take appointments for what this is the question so to all the people who are listening this is the message that architects would like to give the see we are ready to listen to you we are ready to understand your product so please do not push things again and again please understand that your sales people should also be trained enough to know the products know the material so that if they are they are they know enough then architects can really understand those things from them and let let architects approach you for that and you know so much of pushing is probably not required is that what architects would like to say Definitely. yes and also like uh, one more thing is like uh, most of the time like 
uh, the sales people at uh, at an entry level they would be more focused on their product and their features of the product rather than than the architect is actually interested in the benefits and the solution providing that will happen to it so i think there is a different like the architect is seeking something else and the product person is seeking something else i think if they pick change the pitch in terms of the benefits and more attend the architect first listen to the architect then provide solutions i think it will be a win win situation for everyone Yes. Uh, so, what would the brands would like to say? Uh, talk about it. Let's have an open discussion for the next uh, two to three minutes and end it. Yes. Yeah. Anyone? Any? Anything? Yeah. Um, I I think Badri's uh, latest point is a really good one. Uh, I think the focus should be on solution space, in terms of de uh, delivering what the attributes are going to be and how is each one in the ecosystem going to get benefited by that? How do they differentiate themselves? And also, finally, how do we look at it from an overall sustainability point of view so these are the key areas that i think we are going to be looking to to focus on as we go forward right and the most positive aspect that was added is that you know architects are ready to listen and and they are ready to understand what's new and what's good and what you are offering rather than the push that you know they are professionals they have Correct. to do their own work just like doctors and lawyers and all so this is one thing this communication i think uh, we as services report is just trying to bridge the two you know the brands and the architects we don't need to sure. take our keep each of our faces off this side we teach each other we can come together and discuss and have a very absolutely cool someone is really he told me about it and i think any one of you shared some very good thing with me talking about collaboration can actually you know you people have been doing things on your stand alone company basis stand alone leadership basis now let's come together let's come together we as media is architects you as brands and all why not we do together what do you think like you know i think that should be the way forward yes anyone uh, absolutely okay. absolutely vatika excellent point collaboration And, and again, it, it may not be obvious as to how these two parties can come together, but I think it's in these uh, now seemingly disparate areas which, when you get maximum innovation and and uh, wow out of it. So I, I strongly uh, agree with that point. So number one, thing, number one thing which we train a new person joining Armstrong is about listening and understanding the challenges which are there with an architect or a project or a customer. it's all about finding listening to the problems and challenges and providing a solutions for it and the product is incidental you know if you understand the clarity problem that acoustical ceiling is incidental you know privacy is important it is incidental way you design your walls and what stc you offer to the walls so uh, that's what we really focus as an organization and we work there was a question which i want to take up out there that somebody said in the chat that armstrong is focus only on architects yes we work work with architect for specification but we have a largest network across india and our partners and a stock level is always ready to work as much with all the partners as much possible uh, mr sen and sen has i think mr uh, yeah. has joined i assure them yeah we want to just assure them that we are as much on the ground and very much in multiple cities 32 cities we are in right now and we are growing every month uh mr sham uh from in the shelja anything that you'd like to add to your messages i feel uh you know like indrajit and 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 badri were saying as long as as long as we are you know we, we are finding the right solutions for them i see no reason why you know why the community is 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 not open to us uh, uh you know we for the longest time have been trying to Uh, trying to project ourselves as as a design solution company rather than just a just a product company. Uh, as long as as long as all the suppliers they they believe that you know now that this is the level playing ground and everybody's on on ground zero, uh, anybody who's going to focus more and more on on, on solving the problems of the day, mm -hmm. I think there's no reason why Badri or Indrajit will you know would would not entertain them. So that's that's one question which you know which uh, I, I don't think. just because you have a product you have the right to enter any office um that that that's not the right way to you know approach the whole thing um also um you know i i also wanted to add one small uh detail to the whole discussion that i think it is very important for all the companies and all the uh, and everybody to stay very fluid uh, rather than making very rigid plans and 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 saying that this is exactly what they're going to do because every mm -hmm. day the 
circumstances will change and i think adaptability is going to be the key uh, in today's day and time and uh, just by absolutely finding one solution is 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 not very true Mr. Shah, I have not heard from you since. Ah uh, uh, yes, uh, I agree to what uh, Kavinder said that uh, the need today is uh, when you want to work with architects, architects you need to be with them from as we call it as uh, concept of creation. So right from the concept stage till the uh, execution of the project, you will be part may, of that. May, may I may I ask a question? क्या मैं एक सवाल पूछूं? Iman Shah. हिमांशु yes, sure. जी आप इवॉल्व सर्फेसेस से हैं मैंने आपके सर्फेस प्रोडक्ट्स देखे हैं बहुत अच्छे हैं बहुत एक्सक्लूसिव और बहुत बढ़िया आई थिंक इट्स मोर कम इनटू टाइल शेप राइट या इट्स इन अ पैनल फॉर्म बेसिकली एंड इट इज ऑन साइड आल्सो सो या तो ये बताइए सर कि जो आप अभी अभी कोविड में मैंने बहुत सारा कुछ सुना आप सभी का सभी के प्रोडक्ट के बारे में और व्यूज के बारे में प्रैक्टिकल सवाल है एक छोटा सा आप एक बॉम्बे बेस्ड कंपनी है बॉम्बे बंद है आपकी टीम्स काम कर रही होंगी आप खुद भी बहुत ज्यादा मेहनत कर रहे होंगे कि अप्रोच बढ़ाया जाए अभी आपका अप्रोच कहाँ है अगले दो एक साल के लिए अगर हम मई जून के बाद ओपनिंग करें मान लें कि मार्केट ओपन हो गए तो जून से लेकर मार्च तक इवॉल्व एज ए कंपनी रिटेल पे फोकस करेगी प्रोजेक्ट पे फोकस करेगी या नए नए आर्किटेक्ट का लिस्ट बना के उनको मेल भेजेगी बेसिक सवाल पूछ रहा हूँ uh i think uh, in uh, simple words all the three or lateral spread badhane ka is the key what we have uh, discussed that jitna hum log lateral spread bada sakte hain uh in terms of uh, tie ups in terms of collaborations and yani also in commerce so approach sabhi medium se karenge hai na simplified yes. putting, yes. putting photo, you are targeting that so physical store pe display kitna kaam aane wala hai aane wale samay mein aapke hisab se uh limited थैंक यू हिमांशु जी मुझे इतना ही पूछना था परमिंदर जी आपकी एक लाइन बहुत सुंदर थी वी के नॉट रिक्रिएट द सेम रोमांस थैंक यू फॉर दैट वर्ड इट इज इट सेल्फ सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी और इस बात से मैं सबको ये कहना चाहूंगा कि देर है अंधेर नहीं है यानी प्रिंट कर लो टेक्सचर बना लो जैसा कि भावी जी ने कहा लेकिन लास्ट में आना उसी टच एंड फील पे पड़ेगा हम कुछ भी करें प्यार तो हमें ह्यूमन शरीरों से ही करना है जो रियलिटी में है वर्चुअल is big it is world for today but reality is you love only real things let's wait for the time jab real cheeze zindagi mein dobara haseen ban ke aaye aur romance un sabhi achhi cheezon se ho jiski detailing hum physical hi dekh sakte hain mail pe ya virtually sirf assume kar sakte hain visualize kar sakte hain ye usi tarah hai जैसा एक आदमी एक अच्छे खाने के बारे में ध्यान तो कर सकता है लेकिन उसका स्वाद नहीं सुन सकता सोच सकता आज आर्किटेक्ट्स के लिए बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है मैं समझता हूं कि पूरी की पूरी पैनल बोर्ड सरफेस मटेरियल की इंडस्ट्री आर्किटेक्ट्स के हाथों में है जून के बाद कुछ भी होगा भले आज इस पैनल पे दो ही आर्किटेक्ट है लेकिन पूरी फ्रिटर्निटी से मैं चाहूंगा कि आप दोनों मिस्टर केम्भावी और बद्री जी भी ये मैसेज दें कि वो अपने यहाँ उन कंपनियों की रीच को भी और वेलकमिंग बनाए अपने दरवाजे खोलें एक मॉडल क्रिएट करें एक मेल आईडी क्रिएट करें जिसको आर्किटेक्ट फॉर्म रोज चेक करें कि किस कंपनी ने क्या कौन सा नया प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च कर दिया है शायद आपको नहीं पता चलेगा जब तक कि आप उनको सुनने का या देखने का वर्चुअली मौका नहीं देंगे ये सबसे बड़ा विषय है सबसे बड़ा ज्वलंत विषय है मैं एक बात से और एग्री तो नहीं कहूंगा डिसएग्री भी नहीं कहूंगा मैं उसमें बैलेंस कहाँ हूं मुझे नहीं पता जैसे कि आर्मस्ट्रॉन्ग की नरेश जी ने कहा कि बड़ी कंपनियां इसका बहुत बड़ा फायदा उठाएंगी लीडर्स अभी ये सब बहुत अच्छी बातें हैं कि बड़ी कंपनियां फायदा उठाएंगी लेकिन केम्भावी जी ने कहा कि छोटी फॉर्म्स भी बहुत बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी रखती हैं दोनों अपने आप में एक लेवल पर जाकर बड़ा कंट्राडिक्ट्री है बड़ी कंपनियां फायदा उठाएंगी लेकिन छोटो के पास भी उससे बड़ा मौका है बशर्ते की डिजाइन कम्युनिटी and companies they they join hands with clarity they give their one email address यहाँ पर आप इस फॉर्म में अपने मटीरियल को जरूर भेजते रहे कंपनियों के पास बहुत मेहनत करने का समय है जो सरफेस डेकोर की कंपनीज है और हम ये उम्मीद कर सकते हैं कि छोटे छोटे सैंपलों से भी काम चलेंगे print printed सर प्रिंटेड मटीरियल्स मेलर्स मैंने देखा बहुत लोगों से पूछा कि ये बहुत tiring है zoom पे meeting एक घंटे में थक जाते हैं लोग स्क्रीन पे हम एफिशिएंट हुए हैं लेकिन टायरिंग बहुत है अगर आपकी मीटिंग किसी एफिशिएंट आदमी से हो रही है तो जूम इज अ वेरी रोमांटिक हैंगआउट और वर्चुअल इज वेरी गुड लेकिन अगर आपकी मीटिंग 
स्क्रीन पर किसी थकाऊ आदमी से हो रही है तो समझ लीजिए कि आपका दिन सरदर्द के रूप में बदलेगा इसलिए हम लोग उम्मीद करेंगे कि जल्दी से जल्दी पुराने दिन वापस आए और कोरोना बाहर जाए इसके साथ ही एक सवाल शैलजा से है शैलजा एज ए यंग एंटरप्रिनर आर यू देयर शैलजा आई एम आई नॉट यस शैलजा हाउ आर यू वेरी वेल वेरी वेल वेरी वेल शैलजा यू हैव ज्वाइंड मार्केटिंग रिसेंटली ये बताओ कि एक कौन सा काम तुमने अपने इनिशिएटिव से किया है इन लास्ट एक महीनों में जो तुम्हारा ब्रेन चाइल्ड है या नहीं भी किया हो तो क्या करने वाले हो जो तुम्हारा आइडिया वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई फील आई एम एट वर्क अभी तक हुआ नहीं है इन प्रोसेस ही है इट इज अबाउट क्रिएटिंग ई कैटलॉग फर्स्ट थिंग बिकॉज हम एज फार एज आई अंडरस्टूड सब लोगों के पास आप अपना फोल्डर्स लेके जाते फिजिकली दिखाते हैं ऑफकोर्स बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड यू के नॉट डू दैट सो वी आर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग ई कैटलॉग दैट इज वन मेजर थिंग दैट आई दैट इज माई बर्थ चाइल्ड एंड सेकेंड आई विल से इज कंडक्टिंग ऑनलाइन इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग आर होल टीम इज क्रिएटिंग ऑनलाइन इंडक्शन प्रोग्राम फॉर न्यू ज्वाइनिज और हम लोग अब से ऑनलाइन इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग ही करेंगे लाइक इट वोट बी फिजिकली वेन दे कैन कम टू द फैक्ट्री एंड गेट ट्रेन इट विल बी एवरी थिंग विल बी डन ऑनलाइन नाउ थैंक यू थैंक यू शैलजा फॉर गिविंग अ वेरी क्रिस्प आंसर इसका मतलब यह है कि सर एक सवाल फिर पदरी जी से के पास आता है कि पदरी जी जो ऑनलाइन ई कैटलॉग्स हैं उसमें आप एक सजेशन दें कि भाभी जी आपसे भी सेम सेम रिक्वेस्ट है एक सजेशन दें कि वो ई कैटलॉग कैसा हो कि आप लोग सही में आपके लिए प्रैक्टिकली अच्छा रहेगा प्रगत जी देखिए जैसे आ, हमारे पास लैमिनेट के कैटलॉग्स हर बार बहुत सारे आते हैं अब वो लैमिनेट के कैटलॉग्स कोई भी सरफेस नहीं कोई भी सरफेस मतलब मैं लैमिनेट इसलिए कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि सबसे भारी लैमिनेट के कैटलॉग होता है ठीक है किसी तरह अगर उसको स्वैच कार्ड में कन्वर्ट करें जैसे पेंट की तरह अगर कन्वर्ट करें जिसके अंदर इनफैक्ट एक किसी हमने कंपनी को मतलब विनियर कंपनी को हमने करवाया था कि आप विनियर के स्वैच कार्ड बनाओ जैसे पेंट के होते हैं एंड उन्होंने बनाया था उसका रेस्पॉन्स काफी अच्छा है तो हम मतलब सभी को ये कहते हैं इनफैक्ट मतलब काफी सारे जो पैनल प्रोसेसिंग या पैनल मटेरियल्स जो हैं उनको मतलब बहुत आईफोन से छोटा सैंपल साइज एंड छोटे मतलब बॉक्स साइज जो होता है वो आईफोन से छोटा होना चाहिए छोटे बॉक्स में कैटेगराइज करके बिकॉज इतना बड़ा कैटलॉग उठा के वेरी नाइस nice, आप, आपका जो ये सजेशन है ये हमारी उस इंडस्ट्री के लिए भी बहुत राहत की बात है क्योंकि कंपनियां करोड़ों रुपए खर्च करती है बार बार दिखाता है उसमें इंटरेस्ट नहीं आता सो आई थिंक इनोवेशन इज अ मस्ट where companies if they want to catch the attention of architects they have to come with something very different and very new every year to keep the interest sustained nahi to jo aadmi humko pehle milta hai uska yaddash humko rehta hai baki unko hum bhul gaye rehte hain so the, so jisko hum pehle mile uska product use karte hain jiske sath touch nahi uska project use nahi karte unless it is something so different that it always remains in our mind taki hum unko phone karke bulaye thank you thank you indrajit uh, i got the answer aur uh, last last sawal naresh ji se hai naresh आई थिंक नरेश दुबले जी सर नाम है आपका राइट जी नरेश दुबले जी अगर मैंने कुछ भी गलत बोला तो उसके लिए क्षमा जरूर करेंगे लेकिन एक सवाल है बहुत पिक्यूलियर आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग को हमने हमेशा कमर्शियल सीलिंग में यूज होते ज्यादा देखा है आपका ये एकॉस्टिक बोर्ड जो आपके पीछे बोर्ड लगा हुआ है एकॉस्टिक पे आपने बहुत जोर भी डाला क्या आपने जोर इसलिए डाला क्योंकि वो आपका प्रोडक्ट है या वाकई साउंड को आप दूसरे प्रोडक्ट के लिए भी बोल सकते हैं कि दूसरे प्रोडक्ट में भी अगर साउंड Uh, is a feature it will help is it so yeah thank you for this uh, opportunity aapne jo opportunity di bahut acha kiya mai ye mera kehne ka matlab ye tha on the previous point aap chote ho ya bade ho jaise aap human centric banoge problem solve karoge zyada sunoge customer ko aapka business aage wale period mein badhne wala hai coming back to your acoustic point uh, sound jo hai uske solutions bahut sare hai structural solutions hai डिजाइन सोल्यूशन है मटेरियल सोल्यूशन है बट उसके ऊपर अटेंशन करना बहुत जरूरी है आज भारत में मतलब मेरा कहना है आपने मोदी जी बताने वाले हैं कि सुनेगा इंडिया तो बढ़ेगा इंडिया अपने स्कूलों में अगर बच्चे सुन पाएंगे तो आगे बढ़ पाएंगे तो आपका कहना ये है कि आपका बोर्ड तो साउंड के उस एक्सपीरियंस के लिए है ना सर 
एक्सपीरियंस क्रिएट करना कम्युनिटी का ऑब्जेक्टिव होना चाहिए जैसे हमने लाइट इंप्रूव की है जैसे हमने एयर क्वालिटी इंप्रूव की है हमें साउंड क्वालिटी इंप्रूव करने हैं अपने शहर में अपने घर में अपने ऑफिस में अपने को माइंडफुल होना है कि तो ये, तो ये तो ये बहुत अच्छा है थैंक यू फॉर एडिंग दिस वैल्यू सभी कंपनियों के लिए जिनके जिनके पास जो भी पैनल प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उन सबको एस्थेटिक्स के साथ साथ मेटीरियलिटी के साथ साथ अगर वो किसी कारणवश किसी तरीके से किसी जादू की छड़ी के साथ या रिसर्च के साथ अगर वो साउंड साउंड रिफ्लेक्शन या एब्सॉर्बन या डेसिबल बैलेंसिंग की क्वालिटी को एड कर पाए ये न्यू नॉर्मल में उनके लिए अच्छा होगा थैंक यू मिस्टर नरेश जी और आज का टेक अवे जो मैंने समझा वो ये है कि 20 से 30 परसेंट की कैपेसिटी पर कंपनीज ऑपरेट कर रही हैं किन्भावी जी ने कहा कि इससे ज्यादा हम काम नहीं कर पा रहे हैं मैं बधाई देना चाहूंगा परमिंदर जी को जिन्होंने कहा कि वो 60 परसेंट का सेल कर रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा टेक अवे है परमिंदर जी को अलग से एक बार जरूर मैं बुलाऊंगा कि वो साठ कैसे कर रहे हैं लेकिन वो मैं अकेले बुलाऊंगा सर को सर टाइम दीजिएगा बिकॉज ये बहुत बड़ा वंडर वंडर थिंग है दूसरा मैं ये एक एक सबसे अच्छा एडिशन उसमें ये था कि आने वाले समय में सेवेंटी परसेंट सेल टारगेट करते हैं ये आर्मस्ट्रॉन्ग और रामकी जी दोनों ने कहा था रामकी जी ने कहा कि हम एनवायरनमेंट इकोलॉजी सस्टेनेबिलिटी पर ध्यान देते हुए सर सेवेंटी परसेंट ले जाएंगे और आर्मस्ट्रॉन्ग ने कहा कि हम उम्मीद करते हैं पक्का तो कुछ नहीं कह सकते इस आज के पैनल के इस डिस्कशन से मैं ये उम्मीद करता हूँ समझ पा रहा हूँ कि आने वाला समय बुलिश कंपनीज के लिए जरूर 70 परसेंट के सेल तक पहुंचा देगा परमिंदर जी ने 60 परसेंट सेल जरूर शायद मेरे हिसाब से इसलिए की कर ली होगी क्योंकि उनका पास्ट पास्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स बहुत अच्छा चला होगा पेंडिंग रहा होगा और आने वाले समय में मैं उम्मीद करूंगा कि वो इसी तरह का काम करके आने वाले हमारे वेबिनार में वो फिर गाइड करेंगे कि वो कैसे मेंटेन करते हैं अपने कस्टमर रिलेशन को थैंक यू वर्तिका फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी एंड गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू पुटिंग अक्रॉस ऑल थिंग्स इन परस्पेक्टिव जो भी सवाल मेरे कड़वे थे उसको पूछने के लिए परस्पेक्टिव के लिए मुझे आपको बुलाना है इसीलिए मैंने आपको ऐड कर लिया एंड में ठीक है थैंक यू सो आई होप लाइक सब लोगों ने आप लोगों ने एंजॉय किया आई होप दैट आप लोगों ने एंजॉय किया इट वॉज इंटरक्टिव फॉर यू एंड यू कुड शेयर योर परस्पेक्टिव एब्सोल्यूटली थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस ऑपरचुनिटी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस ऑपरचुनिटी एंड एंजॉय द सेशन Thank you much ji for uh, for joining us thank you parvinder thank you narish ji so abhi bhi abhi bhi around 177 188 people and lots lots of people are there uh, on uh, facebook i'm going to just end this thing end the you know session right now thank, and end thank the you thing. all thank you amulya for thank supporting you. the cause thank you very much every thank you all the audience bye bye